Module 1, Background and Effects on Health. What is construction dust? Construction dust is a general term used to describe dust that may be found on a construction site. There are three main types, silica dust, non-silica dust and wood dust. Silica dust. Silica is a natural mineral present in large amounts in things like sand, sandstone and granite. It is also commonly found in many construction materials such as concrete and mortar. Silica is broken down into very fine dust, also known as respirable crystalline silica or RCS, during many common tasks such as cutting, drilling and grinding. RCS is fine enough to travel deep into the lungs. That's where it causes the damage. Quantity. The amount of silica in stone and other materials varies. So when we look at the chart from INDG 463 from the HSE, we can see their approximate crystalline silica content of different materials. Sandstone right at the top with between 70 and 90 percent. Concrete and mortar with 25 to 70 percent. It's quite a useful chart. Non-silica dust. There are a number of construction products where silica is either not found or present in very low amounts. The most common ones include gypsum, cement, limestone, marble and dolomite. And this dust is also mixed with silica dust when cutting things like bricks. Wood dust. Wood is widely used in construction and is found in two main forms, softwood and hardwood. Wood-based products are also commonly used, including MDF and chipboard. How can construction dust harm me? Anyone who breathes in construction dust should know the damage they can do to the lungs and airways. The main dust related diseases affecting construction workers are silicosis, lung cancer and also nasal cancer for hardwood dusts, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD and occupational asthma. Let's have a closer look at silicosis. Once inside the lungs, the dust particles are attacked by the immune system, which causes swelling, inflammation, and gradually leads to areas of hardened and scarred tissue, fibrosis. There is no cure for silicosis. Lung cancer. Heavy and prolonged exposure to RCS, respirable crystalline silica, can cause lung cancer. And when someone already has silicosis, there's an increased risk of lung cancer. Wood dust. Wood dust is a substance hazardous to health because it can cause serious, non-reversible health problems. Skin disorders, obstructions in the nose, rhinitis, asthma, and also a rare type of nasal cancer. COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This includes bronchitis and emphysema, which gives us severe breathlessness, prolonged coughing and chronic disability. This can be very disabling and is a leading cause of death and is also more prevalent in smokers. And indeed smoking can make it worse. When we look at the photographs there, we can see the normal lung and airway on the left hand side and the inflamed lung and airway on the right hand side. A video on the effects of COPD. It's chronic inflammatory lung disease. So you can see the airways narrowing, becoming inflamed, 
and then thickening. And in here, mucus builds up and further blocks the airways, causing coughing. And also affecting the alveoli, they become damaged. Leading then on to shortness of breath and also making you feel tired. The effects of COPD. Occupational asthma. Symptoms of asthma include wheezing, breathlessness and painful coughing. Workers struggling with asthma also experience heaviness and tightness in their chest. Occupational asthma is often a reversible condition which means the symptoms may disappear when the irritants that cause the asthma are avoided. Asthma typically causes attacks, whereas COPD is normally more constant and can include phlegm being coughed up. So it's interesting to note that asthma can actually be reversible if you, the irritants that are actually on site become removed. So as long as you're monitoring the dusts on site, then actually we can prevent the asthma from being sustained. So looking at the occupational asthma photograph, very similar to the COPD photograph and video, you can see the swelling on the lining on the lungs with excess mucus building up, which then makes it difficult to breathe. It's good for us to know how many construction workers actually die from dust-related diseases. And recent H HSE research has estimated that silica may be responsible for the deaths of over 500 people each year. The HSE also estimate that around 4,000 people die every year from COPD linked to work, with construction workers being one of the at-risk groups because of the dust that they breathe in. And a recap, some confirmation of knowledge. Construction dust is a general term used to describe what may be found on a construction site. And there are three main types. Silica dust, non-silica dust, and wood dust. Silica is a natural mineral and often found in concrete and mortar. Construction dust can cause lung cancer, silicosis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, disease, and asthma. And the HSC highlighted that around 4,000 workers die from COPD linked to workplaces each year. And asthma typically causes attacks. COPD is normally more constant and can include phlegm being coughed. 